Microsoft Excel 2013, creating formulas using mathematical operators. Now that you have created a spreadsheet and entered in data, the next step is to calculate the totals. Excel uses formulas to help us calculate values using operators such as addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. One of the most important things to remember while creating formulas is that all formulas must begin with the equals sign. Click in the cell where you'd like to build the formula. In B4, I would like the total of whatever's in cell B2 and B3. And I'm going to use one of the operators that you see over here. So I'm going to use the addition, but we can also use subtraction, multiplication, and division. And this is what the symbols look like on your keyboard. So click in your cell and then type the equal symbol. Physically click on the cell or cells that you're interested in adding. So I'm interested in adding B2, and then I'm going to hit the plus symbol. And then I'm going to click on B3. When I'm done, make sure you hit the Enter key to enter the formula. Let's build another formula in C4. Equal symbol. Physically click on the first cell that you would like to include in the formula. The operator addition. And then click on the second one and hit Enter. Now for the profit and loss, we're going to need to use a subtraction. So we have this amount for our revenue, but this is the amount of our expenses. So to do that, click in the cell again that you would like to build the formula in. Use the equal symbol. Again, physically click on the cell that you would like to start the formula with. Hit the subtraction symbol and click on the second cell. Confirm it with an enter key. And I'll do the same for these other two. And that is creating formulas using mathematical operators in Microsoft Excel 2013.